Hi everyone, welcome to today's GCSE Higher Revision video. It's 52 days to go into your GCSE math exam, so keep up the hard work, you're doing really well. And today we're going to be focusing on the topic of the area of a triangle, and we're going to be using a half A, B, sine C, so we're going to be using trigonometry to help us find the areas of triangles. And you can find the area of any triangle as long as you've got two sides and the angle in between them, because you can do a half A times B times the sine of the angle in between them. And in this video, we're going to look at how to do that. We're going to look at some questions. There'll be some for you to try as well, so remember to pause the video and to try those questions. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to talk about the practice questions and stuff as well. So let's get started. Hi, today we're going to be looking at finding the area of a triangle, and we're going to be using the formula half a b sine c. So if we've got a triangle, if we know the lengths of two sides and the angle enclosed between them, so here we've got 14 centimetres and 8 centimetres, and we've got the angle of 70 degrees in between them, we can use the formula half a b sine c, and it'll tell us the area of the triangle. So here, if I wanted to find the area of this triangle, I would say the area, area equals a half, multiplied by a, which is the length of one of the sides, so I'm going to go for 14, multiplied by the length of the other side, which is 8, multiplied by the sine of the angle in between them, so the sine of 70. And if I do a half, multiplied by 14, multiplied by 8, multiplied by the sine of 70, it'll tell us the area of this triangle. So let's do that. And our answer is 52.62278 and so on centimetres squared. So let's run that to one decimal place. It means the area of this triangle will be 52 0.6 centimeters squared to one decimal place and that's it so this formula half a b sine c can help us find the area of any triangle as long as we know the lengths of two sides and the angle in between them okay let's have a look at a question now for you to try so here's a question for you to try we've got a triangle and we've got the lengths of two sides seven meters and eight meters and we've got the angle between them being 100 degrees so can you find the area of that triangle okay so to find the area for the triangle we're going to do area equals a half a, B, sine C, and then that equals, if we substitute in our values, a half multiplied by A, so that's going to be 7, multiplied by B, that's the length of the other side, which is 8, multiplied by the sine of the angle in between them, so the sine of 100. And if we do a half multiplied by 7, multiplied by 8, multiplied by the sine of 100, that'll tell us the area for this triangle, and when we do that, we get, that's equal to 27.5746 and so on, meters squared and remember our units here because we're dealing with meters it's meters squared or square meters and let's run that to one decimal place that'll be 27.6 meters squared to one decimal place and that's it and if you got that well done okay let's have a look at another question so this time we've been given the area of this triangle is 12.45 centimeters squared and we've been asked to find why the length of one of the sides so feel free to press pause now to find the length of this side Okay, so if we want to find the length of this side, I would start by writing down the formula. The area is equal to half a b sine c. Okay, so the area, so this time we know the area is equal to 12.45, and that equals a half multiplied by a, so that's going to be 5, multiplied by b, well that's going to be y, multiplied by the sine of the angle that's between them, so that's the sine of 32 degrees. Now here, what we're going to do is well, we want to find out what y is. We want to find the length of this side. Now on this right-hand side, we can actually work out a half multiplied by 5 multiplied by the sine of 32. So let's do that. So I'm going to do a half, 0.5, or a half, multiplied by 5 multiplied by the sine of 32. And whenever we do that, well, the left-hand side would still be 12.45. And the right-hand side, when we do a half multiplied by 5 multiplied by the sine of 32, I get that's equal to 1.324798 and so on. And then that's what a half half multiplied by 5 multiplied by the sine of 32 is, we've still got then multiplied by y. Now we want to find out what y is, so we don't want this multiplied by 1.324798 and so on. So we're now going to divide both sides of the equation by this, so we're going to divide by 1.324 and so on, divide by 1.3247 and so on. So that would give us, on the left hand side, well if we do 12.45 divided by answer, and that would give us 9.3976 and so on and on the right hand side we had y multiplied by 1.324 and so on we divided by the 1.324 and so on so i'll just leave us with y and if we just turn this around we get y is equal to 9.3976 and so on and let's just round that to three decimal places that would be equal to 9.398 centimeters to three decimal places so we find the length of y there 9.398 centimeters to three decimal places and that's it and if you got that well done Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So here we've got a triangle, and we've got the lengths of two sides, six centimetres and seven centimetres, and we've been asked to find the size of the angle in between them, and we've been given the area for the triangle is eight centimetres squared. So feel free to press pause and to find the size of this angle. Okay, so the first thing I would do in a question like this is to write down the formula. The area is equal to half a b sine c. Okay, so the area is equal to eight, and that's equal to half 
multiply by a and b, so a and b are r6 and r7, so multiply by 6, multiply by 7, and multiply by the sine, and the angle this time is called x, so the sine of x. Okay, so we can work out this, we can work out a half multiplied by 6 multiplied by 7, actually it's going to be 21, because a half of 6 is 3 times 7 is 21, so let's do that, that's 8 is equal to 21 multiplied by the sine of the angle. Now we want to find the angle, so we want to get rid of this multiplied by 21, so let's divide both sides by 21, so divide the left hand side by 21, and the right hand side by 21. So we're going to do 8 divided by 21, and that's equal to 8 over 21, or 8 21sts. You could write it as 0 0.38 and so on, but I'm just going to leave it as a fraction, and that's equal to the sine of the angle, because we divided by 21 to get rid of the multiplied by 21, so we've still then got sine x. So that's the sine of the angle, we don't want the sine of the angle, we want to find out what the angle is. So I'm just going to turn this around, the sine of the angle is equal to 821, so 8 21sts. Now we want to find the size of the angle, so we want to do the inverse sine, so x is equal to the inverse sine of 8 over 21. And when we press shift sine of 8 over 21 on our calculator and press equals, we get that's equal to x is equal to 22.3926 and so on degrees. And let's just run that to one decimal place. That would be 22.4 degrees to one decimal place. And if you got that, well done. Okay, so we've had a look at how to find the area of a triangle using a half AB sine C. I've given you one to do yourself, and we've also looked at how to find the length of a missing side and a missing angle by using a half AB sine C. Now, quite often with this area of a triangle, it's half AB sine C, they're, they're often included with other topics, so perhaps the sine rule or the cosine rule, or perhaps there might be a question where it's in context, there might be a field and you've got to use a half AB sine C to find the area of the field and so on. So I'd highly recommend you have a look at the practice questions today. Now I'm going to give you a question now where I want you to find the area of this parallelogram. So here's a parallelogram and I want you to find the area of this parallelogram and you're going to be using a half AB sine C because obviously that's our topic today. So I want you to think about how you can do that and to try this question. Now in terms of this question, feel free to use a calculator if you want to, but if you can remember your exact trig values, now we will get onto those later in these days to go videos, but if you can remember your exact trig values, try this question perhaps without a calculator also and I'll talk about that as well. But feel free to use a calculator if you want to at this point. Okay, so if I wanted to find the area of this parallelogram, what I would do is I would actually cut it across diagonally. So I would cut it across diagonally like so. And here we've got two triangles. Now remember the opposite angles in a parallelogram are the same size. So if this is 30 degrees, this angle up here would be 30 degrees also. And if this length is 15 centimeters, this length is 15 centimeters. And um, because the opposite sides have got the same length in a parallelogram. And if this side is eight centimeters, this side would be eight centimeters. So as you can see, we've got two congruent triangles. These two triangles are identical. We've got two sides and the angle between them. And we've got SAS triangles here, side, angle, side, side, angle, side. So these two triangles are identical to each other. So if we find the area of one of them, we can double it to find the area of the whole parallelogram. So let's do that. Let's find the area of this triangle here. So we're going to do a half A, B, sine C. So the area is equal to half multiplied by A, so that's going to be 8, multiplied by B, which is 15, multiplied by the sine of the angle, so the sine of 30. Now at this point, feel free to use a calculator if you want to, but if you can remember your exact trig values, that'll be fantastic, because the sine of 30 is 0 0.5 or a half. So the sine of 30 is a half, so you'd end up with a half, multiplied by 8, multiplied by 15, multiplied by half. Then you could just half the 8, which is 4, and half it again, which is going to be 2, and then times 15, which would be 30. Alternatively, if you wanted to, you could do it in your calculator and, and do a half, multiply by 8, multiply by 15, multiply by the sine of 30, and you also get that's equal to 30 centimetres squared. So so at this point, you could have done this using your knowledge of exact trig values. This is a half. So you get a half times 8, which is 4, times 15, which is 60, times a half, which is 30, 30 centimetres squared. Okay, so we've got the area of this triangle being 30 centimetres squared. That means the area of this triangle is 30 centimetres squared. That means the area of the whole parallelogram would be 30 plus 30, which is equal to 60 centimetres squared. And that's it. So we find the area of that parallelogram by using a half AB sine C. And that's it. So in this video, we've looked at finding the area of triangles using a half AB sine C. So whenever you've got two sides and the angle in between them, how you can do a half of A times B times the sine of the angle in between them. I've also looked at what happens whenever you've given the area of the triangle, and you might want to find the size of an angle, or you might want to find one of the sides, and so on. So we've looked at half AB sine C. I really hope you find this video useful. I really like this topic. I just, I just like these trigonometry questions, so hopefully you do too. Um, with a topic like this, obviously we're not entirely sure what situation or context the question may be given in, so I'd highly recommend having a look at the practice questions that I've. I put a link to them in the description below, so have, feel free to try those as well. I just want to say you're doing really, really well. We're on 52 days to go, so you're doing really well working through these videos. 
believe in yourself. You can do this. You're going to get a great grade in your maths. Keep up the good work and I'll see you tomorrow for the next video. Cheers. Bye.